that is to me that's the hallmark of when something is when something is completely fabricated and untrue you get banished from Facebook for talking about it that makes sense to me anyway you can't talk about anything directly or openly now you have to everything has to be veiled and obscured and hinted at and uh, even then you'll get accused of dog whistling one of those words that's like a nautical sailboat you're sailboating right now you're puffing the sails right now friend back off on that real in your jibs that's why language is so important because language is what's being used language is what is used to shift the Overton window without you knowing about it language is what's used to justify horrendous crimes anytime Anytime you start hearing words where you haven't heard them in a while, not necessarily words you have to look up what they mean, but words like unnecessarily unwieldy. This is the thing. You can imagine someone in a back room somewhere going, yeah, that's what we should call it. Like weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. That's the term, that's the term that was used to sell the 10 or 15, whatever, however many years of taking our best young men Sending them over, getting them PTSD, getting them burnt out, getting them alcoholic, blowout, getting them fucked up. That's the term that was used to sell that. Weapons of mass destruction. Well, they have weapons of mass destruction. That sounds crazy. Weapons of mass destruction. I've never heard of that before. I've heard of, I've heard of bombs. I've heard of nuclear weapons. I've heard of machine guns. What's a weapon of mass destruction? Oh, I, I'm going to trick the reader. I'm going to say something differently than if I was saying it honestly. I'll get it. I'll show you. <laughs> They're taking the truth and altering the word and making it mean something completely differently while covering their ass. Here's the truth. I think I'll pick one. <laughs> I'll pick one little word and make it do that. You fucking retard. That's what you live for. That's the size of your life. That's the greatest thing you can think of pulling off the ultimate heist take the truth change one word make it mean something different <laughs> a new conspiracy theory surrounding products advertised by the home goods and furniture seller wayfair now joins previous unsubstantiated allegations like pizzagate regarding worldwide pedophilic sex trafficking among the economic elite <clears throat> so again, we got conspiracy theory. It's a KKK conspiracy theory. You hear that echoing in your head, even though he doesn't say it, because conspiracy theories, those are white supremacist inventions. Now joins, now joins. What's up with now joins? Right here, Wayfair, now joins. The Wayfair, the Wayfair conspiracy theory now joins previous unsubstantiated allegations. So... I'm, I'm already at ease when I read this. I'm already much more peaceful, much more at rest because it's good to know the new thing that I don't even have to, I don't even have to worry about whether this is real because it's already in the dust bin of history. It's already in the past because it has now joined the previous, okay? And it's now joining unsubstantiated. So I know right off the bat that I can be calm. I don't have to worry about this. Whatever this article is about, it's something in the past and it's unsubstantiated. Many thinly evidenced or unevidenced to more than a million subscribers. So it's to more than a million subscribers. So this is dangerous. This is a wildfire. This is a, this is a clear example of freedom of speech becoming fuel on the fire. This is a clear example of freedom of speech going out of hand when you have more than a million people believing it. But if it was a couple hundred or a couple thousand people, then he would paint it the other way. He would say, it's a fringe crackpot thing that only huh, 2,000 people even bother reading about. So either way, it's bad. You have too many, it's dangerous. There's too many, there's a million people, over a million users. You're telling me you have a megaphone that big and you're spreading this res this irresponsible information? You're out of your mind, buddy. You're telling me there's 2,000 people? There's only 1,500 people? This can't possibly be real. It's a bunch of crackpots, a bunch of people, a bunch of hoarders. What's the right amount of subscribers to have if you're doing citizen journalism? Many thinly evidenced or unevidenced. Can you imagine the f look on his face when he wrote that? 
Don't let these people convince you that the basic human behavior, they said they'll, these fucking assholes, they'll pull out pattern recognition. Our primitive human brains are made to recognize patterns. When you notice that one plus two equals three, your brain is just telling you something that's from the Stone Age. This is, this is from the cavemen days. If you notice that all armed robbers wear masks, your, your brain is just recognizing some pattern that you would have, would have helped you in the Stone Age, but in modern times, it only leads to these crazy fuel on the fire situations. It's all little things, it's all little, little murders, death by a thousand cuts. That is how the linguistic shit is done. There's no, there's no magic where you can tell a bald-faced lie and make someone believe it. You have to slowly chisel away Chinese water torture, slowly break people down until they have Stockholm Syndrome, until they're so tired of hearing you say conspiracy theory, that conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory, until it has a rhythm to it, till the word has like a shape to it in your mind, and you think to yourself, oh, I've heard this before. All that QAnon bullshit, all that Alex Jones bullshit, the reptiles, ah, fuck this. Newsweek previously documented how transgressive public art, including footage from concerts, was falsely recontextualized as satanic rituals. It's transgressive public art. So this is like a public service. This is something you should want. You do not want to be stuck in the ways of the past. It's good. Anything weird is easily explainable. Was falsely recontextualized as satanic rituals. It was falsely recontextualized as satanic rituals. The Pizzagate shit, they just happened upon Marina Abramovic's fucking ugly hoe. How about this? Here's a hot take. Marina Abramovic is an ugly hoe. And the whole reason she has to go crazy making artwork and shit is because nobody wants to fuck her. So here's what happened. These Pizzagaters, they found, they happened upon her transgressive art and they falsely recontextualized it as a satanic ritual. Let's pull up some pictures of Marina. If I tell you, if I said, if I said to you, I'm not a Christian, okay? I'm not a Christian. If I told you that, you don't have a mind reading device. You can't, you don't know if I think that Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior who sacrificed himself for my sin. There's no way to tell. If I'm wearing a shirt with crosses and I get a cross tattooed on me and I get a license plate that says one with Christ and there's videos of me praying and I'm hanging out with uh, pastors and then I tell you that I'm not a Christian, you at least have to say, what's up with that? This is weird. It seems like he's lying to me. Let's look at Marina. Look at these pictures. What's this? What's this? Very strange. So yeah, I guess, I guess, um, I guess if there's a, if we had a lie detector, a foolproof lie detector and, um, old Marina's telling me that she's uh, not a Satanist, then yeah, I guess I'm being inaccurate. We just don't have the technology at this point, which is part of why I'm donating $400,000 to a black charity tonight. Foolproof lie detectors, invest in black businesses. There's, there is manipulation being done here. Dishonorable manipulation being done here. It is recontextualization. So we're looking at these innocent art pieces and we're saying to ourselves, hmm, how can we maliciously take the content of these innocent, beautiful pieces of performance art and twist them so that the context is totally different from what was originally intended. How can we recontextualize this innocent, beautiful, traditional, wonderful performance art and make people believe that Satan's got something to do with it, which he obviously doesn't. It obviously doesn't have anything to do with Satan. If you notice something weird, and you post about it, you are publicly defeated, deplatformed, 
you are accused of recontextualizing. You are a recontextualizer. If you wonder, why are these celebrities covering their eyes, playing with fake blood, blah, blah, blah. If you wonder why, you are recontextualizing reality. But if you are part of the media, you can, you can in fact, recontextualize fucking everything with 10 page long articles, you can change everything. You can recontextualize everything. Get away scot-free. Recontextualizing is all these people do. The media does not investigate anything. The media does not, they're not on the front lines bringing you the hard hitting facts. All they do all day long is recontextualize shit. This is because of racism. This is because of sexism. This is because of blah, blah, blah. This is because Trump is Russian. Every fucking headline is a recontextualization. The only, only people giving this type of stuff serious attention are the ones whose dedication to justice um, and curiosity, plain old curiosity, outweigh any sort of social costs that might be might befall them because of their um, uh, bad behavior. That's the first category of people that get into this. The second category of people are just people who have no, you can't impose social costs on them because they're already crazy. So you get a mix, uh, there's, you know, there's schizo and they're on lithium. So you get a mix of, you get a mix of stuff. In my opinion, that is far better than silence. And that is far better than the nasal, feminine, clicky, yeah, I'm better than you. Clever. I'm clever. <laughs> you did this. I did this. New, uh, NYU grad student uh, human cockroach shit that's going on about my Russians and Russian bots. People who buy into conspiracy theories are falling victim. So it's not, oh, so I'm not to blame. I'm just so stupid. Falling victim to a flaw in the human brain. I told you I fucking know these people. Human brains are amazing pattern matchers. Ooh, we're going with an evolutionary argument, are we? The problem is that the brain's pattern matching logic is also really good at fooling itself. Oh, yes, of course. This makes total sense. Why wouldn't the brain's pattern matching logic be good at fooling itself? It would be advantageous for a caveman to notice false patterns everywhere and to freak out over them. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. I'll reiterate what I said from a video that we recorded but haven't released yet, which is that, um, you know, when I first stumbled upon this stuff, I really went full psycho, just looking into every aspect of it and um, stressing, stressing out and um, try, to, try to get over, if you're, if you're new to this, try to get over that phase as quickly as possible. You gotta have a, uh, <clears throat> You gotta have a gallows humor sense, uh, sensibility when you're dealing with this. Um, sense of humor goes a long way. Don't let it consume you. Try to make some money.